So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is 6x minus 2y is equal to 2, and 2 plus 6y equals 2. So basically what we're doing for this is I'm asking you just to graph each one of these separately and identify the um, solute, or identify where they intersect. Okay. So to graph them, basically what I'm going to do is there's two different ways we can graph. We can use intercept method or we can use slope intercept method. I think the easiest thing for me to be able to do is rewrite these in slope intercept form. So I'll take write both equations and I will rewrite in slope intercept form. Oh, that's 6x. Hey, Jason, that's not what you need to be doing right now. So now, for each one of these, I need to solve for y. So I'll subtract a 6x, subtract a 6x. I have negative 2y equals negative 6x plus 2. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. y is equal to a positive 3x minus 1. Is everybody following with that? Mm -hmm. This one is already solved for y, so I'm just going to rewrite it as y equals um, 6x plus 2. OK? Mm -hmm. So now I've solved them both in slope-intercept form. Now it's very important when we have slope-intercept form, which is our y equals mx plus b, for us to understand what does m represent, what does b represent. Remember, b represents your y-intercept. And remember, y-intercept is a coordinate point. 0 comma negative 1. 0 comma negative 1. Right? Slope is not a coordinate point. Slope is a ratio between the change in the y coordinates and the change in the x coordinates between any two points. Slope is a ratio. So we always like to write our ratio as a fraction. So if your slope is not already a fraction, put it over 1 so it is a fraction. Again, change in y coordinates over a change in x coordinates change in y coordinates over change in x coordinates. So now we know that information. Let's go ahead and graph them. OK. So here, first one I do is I go to my, uh, let's graph this one first. They both have this, what am I doing? That's two, geez, what the heck am I doing? All right, so this one has a y-intercept of negative 1. And then my slope is change in y-coordinates is positive 3. So I go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Change in x-coordinates is positive 1. So I go over 1. So up 3, over 1. I can just continue doing that. 1, 2, 3, over 2. Do you guys follow me? You could also go in the negative direction. You also go down 3. 1, 2, 3, to the left one. But you guys notice they all lie in the same line. Now, let's go ahead and graph uh, the next one, which has a y coordinate of 2. So up 2. And then this slope is change in y is up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1. Then I go down 6 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left one. So what I want you guys to notice is that these graphs, that these two lines intersect at the coordinate point Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Do you guys agree that that is their intersection? Mm -hmm. So that is your solution. Okay? Now, um, I'm not going to go over.